So, door when you meet your favorite engine friends, they always bring you great galore. Stay tuned for more that they can afford. Now, with Thomas the Tank Engine and all of his friends who will make the series so bright, put your buffers together, cause it's time for the Tommy and Trackmaster TNF Special. Isabella's Nutcracker. It was a nice winter's day on the island of Sodor, and all of the engines were excited. The Sodor engines and the Danville Locos were busy carrying people and parcels all throughout the snowy lines. Because Christmas is right around the corner. The engines love seeing all the stations and towns being decorated all throughout, having a nice Christmas tree up filled with tinsel, lights, and ornaments. And even seeing people caroling and having kids meet Santa Claus. The engines love this time of year and are already excited, especially with a lot of hard work they've got done to make themselves really useful. One Christmas Eve evening, Isabella was resting and getting herself prepared after a hard day's work. She had been busy shunting freight cars into the snowy and frosty sidings all throughout the whole entire day. But she didn't mind. Just then Thomas puffed up. Isabella liked Thomas alongside plenty of the Sodor engines throughout her time and is always kind. Evening, Isabella. Hey, Thomas. What you doing? Just dropping off the last set of freight cars for tonight. Who knew I had to bring that much coal for everyone to put into their fireplaces? What are you doing? Oh, didn't you remember? 
about what's happening tonight at Titmus Sheds? Oh, now I remember. Mrs. Kindly is having our Christmas party tonight at Titmus Sheds. Exactly. And now I'm getting myself prepared for it, after so much hard work shunting all of these freight cars all day. Clearly, they don't stand a chance against me. I can see that. Seems like Sir Topham Head has put you in the right place ever since you first came here. Oh, absolutely! I never knew when to give up with what comes my way. Not even those troublesome trucks. <sighs> Well, since I'm here, should I drop off these empty cars somewhere, and we'll head on over to Tidma Sheds? I do hear that Phineas is gonna be there as well. Oh, sure! Just drop them off at that empty signing I left open, and we'll be on our way! Great! Christmas party. Later that evening, all of the solar engines and the Danfo Locos were all at Tedmus Sheds for the Christmas party. Even Sir Tubham Hat and Mrs. Kindly. Everyone was having a terrific time. Isabella was very thrilled to see all of her friends there. Even Phineas. It seems like this is one heck of an amazing Christmas party, wouldn't you say? Oh, absolutely it is! Right on Christmas Eve, and all of my friends are here! Even you, Phineas! Oh, I'll bet! Seems like this is one heck of an amazing Christmas party, wouldn't you say? Just seeing all of that reminds me of such incredible time we had at these kinds of parties. Like this back on our own railway in the Tri-State area. Aww, yes. Those were the good old days. Uh, 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 dang, this amount of tinsel is just too hard for me to handle. I don't know why I keep coming to these parties and how to deal with this. It's the same thing every year! Oh, cheer up, Dad. Oh? Why should I, Vanessa? Is there a good reason you can give? More than that, it's Christmas Eve, and from what I can tell, especially during the nighttime sky, it just looks like there's a nice sense of magic in the air around here. Wow! You knew all of that, and I didn't even realize it! Yep, can't forget this incredible holiday throughout my time. Here, let's get all of this tinsel off me, Dad. Stacy, can you believe that we've brought in this much food and punch for everyone at this party? That's enough to fill up a whole village as we speak. Even a good number of people couldn't get enough of it. Well, you can give credit that my driver is a really good cook whenever he's not working driving me. Which, by the way, Gretchen, you and the Fireside Girls did a fine job helping out and delivering the food and punch all the way over here and also big props for helping my driver with tons of cooking thanks seems like your driver is in real need of help with all of that cooking hence why us fireside girls came and deliver <laughs> okay 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 and so i said to hector while making my rounds how else will you get that red nose anyways <laughs> <laughs> Almost sounds a bit like when James's red nose after he got stung by that bee some time ago. Ugh. Don't remind me, Thomas. The Christmas party was the most wonderful social event of the season. Even for all of the engines. Just then, Sir Topham Hat and Mrs. Kindly came in with a bunch of presents for all of the engines. All right, everyone. I hope you're having a great time tonight. Because we're about to start handing out the Christmas presents. We are very satisfied that all of you took the time 
and worked hard on each one well in advance. So whatever we've picked out, you'll be more than happy to open one up for yourself. Right. So with that being said, let's begin. Sir Topham Hatt and Mrs. Kindly then started handing out all of the Christmas presents to all of the engines. One by one, all of the Sodor engines and the Danville Locos each got their own present, and they've got some amazing things. took them a little while right up until there was one last present remaining. Wow! I've always wanted a new lamp for some time! Thank you, Percy! Oh! And look! There's one present left! Sure is! And this one is for... Isabella! Me? Really? Yes! Yes, it is! I managed to find it last minute! And I don't know how it got here by the time my driver was at the shop at Napford. But I think it'll be something you might love. Well, I'm excited to see. I have no idea what I'm in for with this one. Isabella was amazed by the time she got it out. It was a nutcracker. Isabella was thrilled upon seeing it. Oh, wow, Phineas! This nutcracker looks amazing! He'll go great with my ten soldiers I have back in my shed! Thank you so much! You're welcome, and I'm glad you loved it, Isabella. The party continued on as normal until it was getting late in the evening, and everyone started to head home. Isabella and Phineas were about to head out for the night, 
as Edward puffed in. That's one amazing nutcracker you've got there, Isabella. I'll say. It does kind of remind me of Phineas a bit. Oh yeah, it does. Almost has the same eye color as mine for a bit. Say, which reminds me. Where did you get this nutcracker, Phineas? Well, I found it at the shop over at Natford, as it somehow appeared out of nowhere. I'm not sure how it got there in the first place, but upon seeing that, I had to get it for Isabella anyways. Hmm. I see. You know, I heard of a legend saying that this nutcracker you have there was originally a prince from a magical kingdom somewhere, who was casted a spell from his enemy and escaped, leaving him in that state. However, the spell will be broken once he defeats him, takes back his kingdom, and wins the hand of a fair young maiden. Do you think so, Edward? I believe so. But then again, it's just a legend from what I've heard. But it still looks wonderful. Well, thank you, Edward. I even think so well. Well, I'll leave you two at it. Good night. Night, Night, Edward! Edward. Well, I might as well head off, too. Same here. Good night, Phineas, and Merry Christmas. You, too. Later that night, Isabella returned back to her shed for a night's rest. She was exhausted from the party and was in need of some sleep, but still can't help but admire her nutcracker. There you go! Now you have a good place in my shed. And you know, if what Edward says is true, I can only imagine what it'll be like. I'm getting very tired. I may as well get some sleep. Good night, my cute nutcracker. Then Isabella fell right to sleep, knowing that she's in for a nice peaceful night. But little did she know what's about to come. <laughs> me. Where am I? Oh, Phineas Nutcracker. Thank goodness you're all right. Guys, great to see all of you. But what's going on? And what happened to me? I was fighting off great evil that just came, and in the next second, I don't know what happened. We'll explain everything later, but for now, we've got bigger things to worry about. And we should do it now. The mass army is already here. Prepare to demolish this dump. Right. Soldiers, attack! <laughs>
battle, even as a nutcracker. You seem to be more of a thorn in my side. King Doofenmouse, I should have known you would be behind this. And what do you mean? Well, didn't you know? When I came by and started invading your kingdom, I was the one who placed a spell on you, which turned you into a nutcracker. So you were the one who did this to me. You casted a spell on me, which turned me into this? Well, I'm not gonna let you get away with your dirty tricks, King Doofin Mouse. Oh, but I already have, Nutcracker. Not if I can help it. Hey, rat face! Heads up! <gasps> Mouse army, fall back, quick! Is everyone okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes! But we do have a feeling they could be heading back to the kingdom right now. And they could plan out their next move! I see. What about everyone in the kingdom? They're alright. The Sugar Plum Fairy is taking care of everyone alongside some help from Mother Ginger, Captain Mint, and General Candy. Good. <sighs> now then, Head on back and see if you can help out with everyone as much as you can. I'll meet you guys there and see what we can do. Yes, yes sir! sir! I'm guessing you knew them? I do. They're part of my army, and I gotta say, I'm certainly glad to see them. And while I'm at it, thanks for saving my life, Isabella. I owe you big time. Oh, you're welcome, Nutcracker. But are you gonna be fine? Oh, don't worry about me. Besides, seems like I now know what King Duvenmouse has done to me. Since he... You were once a prince in a magical kingdom who's been taken over by this King Duvenmouse that you mentioned and has cast a spell on you which turned you into a Nutcracker. Wait, how did you know that? Edward told me about it and said it was pretty much a legend. Well, looks like what this Edward person you speak of is correct. But it's no legend. It's real. I'm certainly believing it. 
But now, it looks like you've now ended up here in my buffers. Now is a Christmas present. Thanks to Phineas, who does look similar to you. Wait, is that where I am now? Yeah, you are now on the island of Sodor for some reason. Phineas found you in a shop back in Nafford and gave you to me as a Christmas present, leading to where we are now. Ah, so that explains how I got here and what happened to me in the first place. But I don't know who brought me here exactly. Anyways, I must return to my kingdom to help everyone and stop King Doofenmouse before it gets worse. Wait, Nutcracker! I know you're concerned about your people, and you want to keep them safe. I know I am as well throughout my time here, because I'm not afraid one bit. So, since I was kind to save your life, do you suppose I can come with you and help out as possible? Well, seems like you've read my mind on that one. Of course, you can come with me, Isabella. We better get moving right now.
What will happen next? For Tommy and Trackmaster TNF Christmas Special, Isabella's Nutcracker. To find out, you'll have to stay tuned. Or do what we do. Read the rest of the script. Big special thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon for making today's video possible. So if you want to be like these people and show your support to us and get some awesome rewards such as getting a special shoutout, crying at the end of the videos, as well as some other awesome rewards within your budget, then go to patreon.com forward slash TV to do exactly that. Hey guys, this is AkleyAttack4427 here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two-member channel with Sam the Thomas Man 1, Sam Attack 4427 the Thomas Man 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube, and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon as well as joining our official Discord server to see what we've provided. If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as gain access to updates and play more in addition to gain some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show your support to me on my wishlist on Amazon, and even supporting me at streamlabs.com forward slash TV forward slash tip that you can find in the description box below as well as on my Twitch page. And in case you can't find any of the links that are provided, then not to worry about a thing. All the links and stuff are also provided on my link tree that you can also find in the description box below as well as a few selected number of my social media pages. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.